Hello everyone, a very logical day to all of you and here we are with the analysis of the English section of the CLAT 2024. Now we have mock test analysis, now actual CLAT analysis. So, understanding CLAT 2024, the English section of it will not be a very difficult task, not at all order at all. Why? Because the passages that uh, you received were on a platter, so to say, Three passages based on literature, one based on justice or two ideas of justice, two ideas of India Kata wo, right from the frontline magazine. And this is something that you have been doing in a complete preparation. Humne har mock test mein diya hai literature pe and you have been like well versed in this literature now. So let us see, most of you will get very good marks, I'm sure. Novels, uh, we have read novels, liye, literature, literature, justice related, we have read articles. Kar liye. So, not a big deal. Let's go with this. Time to be given to this was approximately 25 to 27 minutes, which you have given. Good attempts, anywhere between 20 to 24. I would rather suggest all 24 you could have done. Excellent score, excellent score, yes. 20 plus would be called excellent. Good score, 16 tak, thik hai, good hai, 15 tak, thik hai. Matlab, uh, decent bolenge, hum ek dam bekaar bhi nahi hai scores. But test aisa tha, jis way you should have got at least 16, or at least 17 or above 17. Yes, this is what I would expect. Itna karna tha, because usme uh, difficult questions, so to say, itne nahi the. Tricky questions, do teen the, jahaan pe confusion ho sakta tha. Thik hai, but let's see, come on. The crisis of justice that is a subject matter of discussion in the media today is in fact the crisis of justice for the middle class. Yeh hai. Pahle se hi usne bol diya crisis hai. Lekin yeh actually hai kya it is in discussion nowadays. But what is it about? About justice to the middle class. Main difference between India and the OECD countries is that Whereas the middle class in these countries has reasonable access to justice in India, does not. Yeah, yeah, main difference. Reasonable access to justice hai, OECD Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Zor se bolne ki, pronounce karne ki zarat nahi hai because you should be reading with the eyes and what you catch is only the capital letters and it is given also the OECD. Right? A vocal, achha, India mein middle class ko access nahi hai itni zada, right? A vocal and powerful middle class has emerged in India since 1991. It is demanding reasonable access to justice. Much of the judicial reform will help meet this demand. So judicial reforms hongi, lekin kisko leke? Jo demand ho rahi hai Indian middle class se, ki justice should be more accessible. Fine. This is what is going on, so stated by the author. Question of justice for the poor is, however, an altogether different challenge. Now, the author is the main point. This is what he said. The state said that it was like this. In 1991, a middle class emerged. The demand for accessibility to the justice. In other countries, it is not in India. It is not in India. This accessibility of the middle class to the justice. Yes, in India, it is not in India as a country. No country in the world has been able to secure justice for the poor. Author ke se to bhi poor ke liye justice hai hi nahi. Kahin par bhi nahi hai. So most of the jails of the richest countries are filled with the poorest. Masses are more often victims of the criminal judicial justice system than of crime. In India as well, jails are almost exclusively filled with the poor. The civil justice system is hardly accessible to them. They are often victimized by lawyers, scouts and court staff. They are docket excluded, a new touch of untouchability, a new type of untouchability. The language and the logic, the colonial and feudal culture of the judicial system are alien to them. It rarely takes cognizance of their needs and interests. Masses ke hisaab se, poor ke hisaab se, judicial system jo hai, unke mutabik chalte hi nahi hai judicial system and these people are unable to understand the system. The system doesn't work according to them or doesn't uh, cater to their needs or they, their sense and they themselves cannot understand the judicial system. So this is the author is talking about the poor people mainly now. Middle class apne ladai ladlegi, uski baat nahi hai. 
पुअर के लिए क्या प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है जस्टिस सिस्टम में ये बहुत है ना दे मेन कंसर्न देर फोर इज टू एस्केप द अटेंशन ऑफ द जस्टिस सिस्टम क्योंकि जस्टिस सिस्टम हमारी बात ही नहीं मान रही तो ये जो अनटचेबल्स हैं सो कॉल्ड मास्टर्स हैं जो पुअर हैं उनके हिसाब से क्या है दे ट्राई टू एस्केप आना ही नहीं है दैट इज इट क्रिमिनल एंड सिविल जस्टिस सिस्टम से दूर भागेंगे और ये एग्जाम्पल हो गया दिस विल बी द पॉइंट स्टेटेड बाई दर एंड यू ऑल नो प्रे पॉइंट रीजन एग्जाम्पल तो ये एग्जाम्पल हो गया किस चीज का दे आर स्केपिंग और देर डाइवर्जेंट व्यूज दलित पर्सन इन द इंटीरियर ऑफ एम पी वंस गेव मी एन इंसाइटल डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ कोर्ट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द मासिस अकॉर्डिंग टू द मासिस वॉट इज द कोर्ट अ कोर्ट इज अ प्लेस वे यू आर फोर्सिबली टेकन बाय द पुलिस टू बी पनिश्ड नो वन गोज टू अ कोर्ट हम लोग जाएंगे नहीं हमें ले जाया जाएगा ये है लैंडलेस दलित पर्सन का कहना और अकॉर्डिंग टू द मासिस इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट मेनी लॉयर्स एंड जजेस को लोकली डिफाइन अ कोर्ट एज अ टेम्पल ऑफ जस्टिस वे राइट आर प्रोटेक्टेड तो लॉयर्स के मुताबिक कोर्ट क्या होता है और लैंडलेस लोगों के मुताबिक या मासिस के हिसाब से कोर्ट क्या होता है तो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट व्यूज these sharply divergent visions mean that justice for one section is often injustice for another this is what can be understood from the example that the author has given or the point that the author has stated that they have access they are demanding access the middle class they will get it there would be judicial reforms there problem is with the poor where the masses are unable to reach out to the justice system why because they the justice system also does not uh, take heed of these people and hence these are the divergent views here protecting the livelihood of traditional taxi and auto drivers from predatory pricing by corporate application based taxi providers by imaginatively using the available tools of law to delay the incursion would be seen by the rich and by sections of the middle class as a failure of the judicial system मतलब अगर टैक्सी ड्राइवर्स और ऑटो रिक्शा वालों के हित के लिए गवर्नमेंट कुछ काम करती है तो इट विल बी सीन एज सेविंग देम फ्रॉम द प्रिडेटरी प्राइसिंग बाय द कॉर्पोरेट एप बेस्ड जो होते हैं उनसे अगर बचाएगी तो इट इज बीइंग सीन बाय द रिच एंड बाय सेक्शंस ऑफ द मिडिल क्लास एज अ फेलियर ऑफ द जुडिशियल सिस्टम एंड पॉसिबली एज ऑल्सो रिजल्टिंग इन डाउनग्रेडिंग ऑफ द ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस सो दिस इज वॉट द रिच यू थिंक अबाउट इट by the rich now however the masses would see such a judicial intervention as a strong evidence of a good justice system masses ke hisab se wo good rahega dusro ke hisab se rich ya middle class ke hisab se wo failure hoga although the conflict over competing visions of the nation and conflicting demands from social and economic segments have confined judicial reform of judicial administration mainly to neutral areas तो जुडिशियल रिफॉर्म या एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जो होगा वो न्यूट्रल एरिया से कन्फाइंड हो गई है सच एज तो न्यूट्रल एरिया कौन से हुए ये प्रोसेस रिफॉर्म प्रोसीजरल लॉ टेक्नोलॉजी प्लानिंग कोर्ट एंड केस मैनेजमेंट जज स्ट्रेंथ एंड द वर्कलोड ऑफ जजेस दे हैज बीन कंसिडरेबल इंप्रूवमेंट इन दीज एरियाज एंड द जुडिशियल सिस्टम हैज इम्प्रूव इट्स परफॉर्मेंस डाइवर्जेंट व्यूज है जस्टिस सिस्टम मासिस पे ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं देती थी दिस इज इन द सेकेंड पैराग्राफ मिडिल क्लास डिमांड कर लेगी फाइन थर्ड पैराग्राफ में डाइवर्जेंट विजन से रिच कुछ मानते हैं और मासेस उनका एक और दर इज ऑलवेज साइड ऑफ द कॉइन एंड इन द लास्ट व्हाट इट सेज द जुडिशियल रिफॉर्म वुड बी देयर इन द न्यूट्रल एरियाज क्योंकि यहाँ पे वो कास्ट की या कुछ रिच एंड पुअर वाले बात रहेगा ही नहीं लिमिटेड टू द जुडिशरी सो लेट एस सी कम टू द क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज द मोस्ट लाइकली टू एग्री विथ judicial system reflects the same power relations as those that exist in society access to the judicial uh, it reflects the same power relationships as those that exist in the society matlab society mein bhi rich poor aur ye sab chalta hai to judicial system mein bhi aisa alag alag ho raha hai theek hai ho sakta hai access is determined more by a person's economic status such as wealth and income than by his social status such as religion and caste lekin access to caste के हिसाब से भी नहीं था ना 
judicial system was made for the rich by the rich nahi ye to aisa hua jaise democracy ka ki definition aa gayi so you have the first one as the answer that it reflects the same power relationships as those that exist in the society kyunki jo changes hain humne idhar kiye the second paragraph mein most of the poor people or most of the incumbents there in the in the jails they are poor filled with the poorest theek hai for justice system they are the victims of the criminal justice system than of crime ab yahi pe agar rich hoga to fir usko itna problem nahi jhelna padega aur middle class jo hai wo reasonable access mang bhi legi demand bhi kar legi aur mil bhi jayega with the judicial reform and therefore that is the answer author most likely to disagree with a truly representative democracy would ensure that the interests of the poor are also represented in the judicial system author ke hisab se agar truly representative democracy hogi to interests of the poor and the rich dono barabar honge possible the law ensures equality both in text and in practice the poor suffer most at the hands of lawyers and adults compared to judges who might still pronounce judgments in their favor from time to time does this law ensure equality both in text and in practice text mein to hai practice mein bhi hai kya dikhta hai kya uske actions ke sath we need something that the author is likely to disagree with and this says that it ensures equality which is again in question इक्वालिटी कहने के लिए है इक्वालिटी लिखने में है इक्वालिटी देने में है बट क्या एक्चुअली में इन प्रैक्टिस है नो यू विल गेट मोस्ट ऑफ द आंसर्स हियर। व्हाट मेक्स रिफॉर्म ऑफ जुडिशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इन न्यूट्रल एरिया न्यूट्रल एरिया इफ यू रिमेंबर वॉज देयर इन द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पैराग्राफ so persons across socio economic strata agree on the need to reform if the people agree right will that be called a neutral area question hai ki what makes these reforms a neutral area kyun hai ye neutral to passage mein baat kiski chal rahi thi different castes different levels economic strata and social strata of the society being treated differently by the judiciary system न्यूट्रल एरिया कब आएगा जब जुडिशियल सिस्टम अपने ही काम है अपने ही रिफॉर्म्स करेगा दैट इज इट तो यहां पर इफ द पीपल आर एग्रीइंग टू इट नो देर इज कंसेंस अमंग पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज अक्रॉस द आइडियोलॉजिकल एंड रीजनल स्पेक्ट्रम ऑन रिफॉर्म्स इन द जुडिशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन अक्रॉस एंड देर इज अ कंसेंस ठीक है पर जुडिशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को न्यूट्रल एरिया क्यों कहा गया दैट वॉज द पॉइंट दे डू नॉट फेवर वन क्लास ऑफ पीपल ओवर इन अदर or reform of judicial administration is mandated by the constitution and thus lies beyond political consideration but lying beyond political considerations to was uh, being political or having a political angle a reason that the author said about it being a neutral area no neutral area was where they were not differentiating or favoring any one class of the person over another kyunki pure passage ka main idea ye tha ki जुडिशियल सिस्टम है लेकिन अलग अलग लोगों को किस तरीके से वो ट्रीट करता है तो वही अलग अलग लोगों का जो नजरिया था जो पर्सपेक्टिव था वो अलग होगा राइट बिकॉज दे वर बीइंग ट्रीटेड डिफरेंटली बाय द जुडिशियल सिस्टम एंड द रीजन व्हाई इट वाज अ न्यूट्रल एरिया वाज गिवन हियर तो वेन यू नो वे दंसर इज न्यूट्रल एरिया तो यहां पर है बट यू हैव टू रीड इट फ्रॉम हियर बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अवर द डायवर्जेंट विजन Now, why were they divergent vision or conflicting ideas? Why were they? Their belief was different. Why was the rich's belief different? The poor's belief was different. Why was it different? Because the judicial system was based on that, or it was behaving like that with those people, the different classes, and hence they were now limited to the neutral area work. Yeah, the conflict was there. Now they were confined to the judicial reform. Yeah, right. So that means they will not be. different visions now central thesis of the above extract the practice of untouchability takes various forms in modern india imagination of justice for the rich and poor is vastly different possible how to come to this answer 
because from the complete paragraph only we have understood that there are different visions right divergent visions different perspectives kyunki passage ka jaise main bolte hu ki passage ka main point hame samajhna chahiye to central point tha kya divergent vision visions mean the justice for one section is often injustice for another right here the victims of the criminal justice system than of crime to ye poorest hai rich hota to wo inka victim nahi banta मतलब कोई ना कोई तो अलग डिफरेंस है ना व्हाट दिस पर्सन इज सेइंग व्हाट दिस लैंडलेस दलित पर्सन सेड एंड इन कॉन्ट्रेस्ट व्हाट मोस्ट ऑफ द लॉयर्स आर सेइंग दिस इज डिफरेंट राइट तो पूरे पैसेज का जो मेन पॉइंट है वो यही था कि डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव्स हैं डाइवर्जेंट विजन्स हैं एंड देयरफॉर यू गेट द आंसर हियर वास्टली डिफरेंट डॉकेट एक्सक्लूडेड व्हाट डज ही मीन बाय डॉकेट एक्सक्लूडेड इन द सेकंड पैराग्राफ So now you you know where the where to go. Second paragraph में हम दो तीन lines. Uh, word वाले जो questions होते हैं, I've told you very many times कि you go back to that word, read one sentence before it and read another sentence after it, so that you can actually understand the contextual meaning of the word. कैसे समझ में आएगा? Poor do not have easy access to the judicial uh, justice system. Courts do not list bail petitions of poor under trial prisoners who for poor under trial prisoners who populate the country's jails. ठीक है इसके लिए उनको डॉक्यूट एक्सक्लूडेड कहा गया था क्या वील रीड इट पुअर रिजेक्ट द जुडिशियल सिस्टम एज बीइंग एलियन टू द लैंग्वेज पुअर रिजेक्ट करते हैं या उनको रिजेक्ट किया जाता है उन पे ध्यान नहीं दिया जाता है तो हम ये तो आउट कर देंगे रिच है एक्सक्लूडेड पर रिच को तो इंक्लूड किया जाता है ना कंट्रीज मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि रिच को डालेंगे ही नहीं जेल में राइट दे आर नॉट एक्सक्लूडेड विच आर मोस्टली पॉपुलेटेड बाय द पुअर तो दे आर नॉट एक्सक्लूडेड बट द पुअर आर एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम वेयर डॉक्यूट Uh, you have done the root word doc. The doc is a document. So list me in army. Hota hai, doc is excluded. Hota hai. Isiliye toh ne untouchable sir kaha gaya toh sentence me. This the poor do not have easy access to the justice system. How? Here they are often victimized by lawyers, courts, and court staff. Unhi ke victims ban jaate hain. Like justice system is hardly accessible to them. They are doc is excluded. A new type of untouchability. लैंग्वेज एंड द लॉजिक कुछ समझ में नहीं आते ना कोर्ट की लैंग्वेज समझ में आएगी ना लॉजिक समझ में आएगा सो दे फील एक्सक्लूडेड एंड कॉलोनियल एंड फ्यूडल कल्चर ऑफ द जुडिशियल सिस्टम आर एलियन टू देम तभी वो डॉक्टर एक्सक्लूडेड है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ड बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ डिफरेंट सेगमेंट ऑफ पीपल विद दस्टिस जस्टिस सिस्टम ना एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल राइट तो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट उसे दिया ही था बिल्कुल डाइवर्जेंट विजन तो वैसे ही कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग है ठीक है उसके आगे भी अगर हम देखते हैं तो ये रहा कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग एंड दे फॉर दे आर कन्फाइंड हियर इट इज लाइक कॉन्फ्लिक्टिंग डिमांड्स सो इट वाज एन इजी वन हियर छह में से हमारे पास कम से कम पांच तो सही होते हैं होने थे कम से कम राइट एटलीस्ट कमिंग टू द सेकेंड आवर इट इज बेस्ड ऑन लिटरेचर अब तीनों लिटरेचर बेस्ड है लेट इज सी English literature is vast and diverse field that has left an indelible mark on the world of letters. Now, from the eloquent place, from का मतलब यहाँ से तो हम समझ सकते हैं कि अगर इसने indelible mark किया है, indelible is something that cannot be erased, right? So, from the eloquent plays of William Shakespeare to the complex novels of Jane Austen and the profound poetry of William Wordsworth. English literature offers a window into the human experience. One of the luminaries of English literature is William Shakespeare. अब अगर हमें words नहीं समझ में आते हैं, no problem. You don't need to get stuck there. Luminaries, if you have done this word, illumine or illuminate, illuminated means रोशनी करने वाला. तो illuminary is a person who is well known, a person who is a distinguished person, an eminent person हो सकते हैं. So luminaries of English literature is William Shakespeare. often hailed as the greatest playwright in the history of english language his works including so 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 and so do you do not need to read or pronounce those words you can only see hamlet suna hoga word macbeth suna hoga romeo juliet suna hoga they are celebrated for the exploration of human nature love ambition tragedy his characters such as the tormented hamlet and the star crossed lovers romeo and juliet continue to captivate readers and audiences worldwide यहाँ तक पढ़ते पढ़ते और आगे देखते हुए हमें समझ में आ जाता है कि देर आर मेनी थिंग्स इन इन्वर्टेड फॉर्मर्स दैट मीन्स दीज आर द नेम्स ऑफ द बुक्स ऑफ द नॉवल्स ऑफ द ड्रामा ऑफ द ट्रेजिडीज कॉमेडीज जो कुछ भी लोगों ने लिखी है 
so we can see proper nouns here so this complete passage should hardly take you one at the most one and a half minute isse zyada nahi lagna chahiye padhne mein kyunki if you are if you know the names of these books well and good if you know the you have read the names of these writers well and good if not you don't need to pronounce them because you will not remember the name of the writer and uh, nor of the book that is written by him or her hame pakka pata hai ki hum ye yaad nahi rahenge rakhenge na yaad rahega ye so better would be that read this in a flow just what is the main idea there why is the author mentioning all this ye samajh mein aa jayega then going to the options and when you glance at the paper you see that the options are वेरी स्मॉल स्मॉल इन द सेंस की वो नेम्स बुक के नेम्स हैं या तो पर्सन के नेम्स हैं सो दैट मीन्स सॉल्विंग वुड अगेन रिक्वायर कमिंग बैक टू द पैसेज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम यू कुड हैव रेड दिस इन वन मिनट और सो एंड गॉन बैक टू द पैसेज सो आई क्विकली गो थ्रू इट दाइनटीन सेंचुरी अशद इन न्यू एंड ऑफ लिटरेरी जॉयस जेन ऑस्ट्रेन नॉवल्स इज इन प्राइड एंड प्रेज सेंस प्रोवाइड इन साइस सोशल कॉमेंट्री टू द लेंस ऑफ विट एंड रोमांस Austin heroines like Elizabeth Bennet and Elena Dashwood remain beloved literary figures known for their intelligence and resilience. Wo wit or intelligence ye ho gaya. Romantic era brought forth poets like William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge who celebrated the beauty of nature and emotional intensity of the individual. Wordsworth I wandered lonely as a cloud kisi ne padhi hui ho poem dekhna and color is rhyme of the ancient mariner even this i think so you have done in your school a testament to the power of the written words to evoke profound emotions and imagery moving towards 20th century english literature continued to evolve tum samjho ye literature ki baat ho rahi hai novelist ki baat ho rahi hai poets ki baat ho rahi hai inke subject matter ki baat ho rahi hai inki style ki baat ho rahi hai virginia woolf's ground breaking novel mrs dalloway explored the inner thoughts and lives of its characters with a modernist narrative style Dystopian visions are seen seen in George Orwell's 1984. I hope you have read this book because this was a book that we had suggested you to read. बहुत अच्छी उसी बुक है. Provided stark warnings about the dangers of totalitarianism and the erosion of individual freedom. ये erosion मतलब खत्म होता जाएगा. Today, English literature is a global phenomenon transcending borders and languages. Transcending means going beyond. Indian authors like Anandati Roy with her novel The God of Small Things have won prestigious international literary awards. The book not only explores intricate family dynamics but also delves into the broader socio-political landscape of India. In summary, English literature is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the written word. It encompasses an array of authors themes and styles that continue to captivate and inspire readers across the world beech mein naam hai bahut sare kisne kya likha kis style mein tha wo sab diya hai major point last line aa jati hai aur yahan pe first line let us come title virginia woolf novel narrative style dhoond lo virginia woolf dhoond lo to pata chal jayega mrs dalloway hai theek hai ab ye pura aankhon ka khel hota hai जहां हमें शब्दों को ढूंढना होगा तो इट विल बी वेस्टिंग लेस टाइम यू डोंट नीड योर ब्रेन टू थिंक एंड अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग नाउ यू नीड टू सर्च फॉर द वर्ड्स बिकॉज दीज आर डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चंस ऑल सिक्स क्वेश्चंस वर डायरेक्ट एंड नन ऑफ यू शुड हैव गॉट एनी एनी आंसर रॉन्ग वो होना ही नहीं था नॉट परमिसेबल ऑल सिक्स क्वेश्चन लाइक लड्डू मैंने कहा है पिछली बार भी जब वी वर डिस्कसिंग इन द एनालिस ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट ग्रैब at the very easy marks giving questions to so, sabse pehle agar ye wala passage hota to che laddu to tumne kha liye aisa samajhna matlab zaruri nahi na ki laddu khao ya akrot khao akrot khana zaruri nahi hai challenging lena zaruri nahi hai question you need marks and that is all this passage was giving you marks 20th century novel mentioned in the passage that provides a warning about the dangers of egalitarianism totalitarianism hota hai 1984 hum ye pad chuke hain george orwell ki book hai ye rahi erosion of individual freedom what does the passage highlight as enduring power of english literature abhi humne padha tha last line mein diversity of its authors themes and styles you will get it from here divergent uh, styles authors aur ye raha last mein 
तो ऐसे नहीं कि सिर्फ एक सेंटेंस से आएगा आंसर इट वॉज थ्रू आउट द पैसेज राइट वेन यू आर रीडिंग यू वुड हैव मार्क दिस इज इन योर माइंड ओनली ग्रेटेस्ट प्ले राइट वरी इजी विलियम शेक्सपियर दिया हुआ है यहाँ पर तो वर्ड्स ही देखने थे या तो ग्रेटेस्ट प्ले राइट देखते क्योंकि ऐसे जो क्वेश्चन है दे विल नॉट कम अप विथ सिनोनिम्स मोस्ट प्रोबेबली डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ही पूछेंगे क्योंकि डिफिकल्ट वो था जेन ऑस्टिन नॉवेल्स हमें पता है 1984 जॉर्ज ऑर्वेल की है जिसको पता होगा सेंस एंड सेंसिबिलिटी ठीक है वॉन्डर्ड लोनि इज अ क्लाउड एंड ड्राइव ऑफ द एंशियंट मरीना कॉलेज की है वर्ड्स वर्ड की है सेंस एंड सेंसिबिलिटी जेन ऑस्टिन जिन्हें ये सब पता है दे नीड नॉट गो बैक टू द पैसेज ओनली बिकॉज ही वॉज समथिंग दैट यू कुड हैव कम टू द राइट आंसर इन से फाइव सेकेंड्स कर सकते थे आंसर आराम से और जो वापस गए नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल बिकॉज यू डेफिनेटली यू नीडेड टू सेव वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मार्क्स ओके सो कमिंग टू द आंसर हियर विलियम वर्सवत एंड सैमल टेलर कॉलरिज बिकॉज वट इज आज हियर इज अबाउट इंटेंस ह्यूमन इमोशंस सो लेट्स सी फ्रॉम वेयर वी कैन गेट दिस हियर इट इज राइट पैसेज थ्री In the realm of contemporary literature, the interplay between character and setting is a nuanced dance that shapes the narrative's essence. The setting, often described with painstaking detail, becomes more than a backdrop. It becomes a character influencing the plot and character development. So, what we are talking about is the interplay between character and setting. Consider, for instance, the barren expanse of the desert in Jamba Lahari's *The Namesake*. the arid landscape mirrors the sense of isolation felt by the protagonist gogol as he navigates his identity crisis in a foreign land when uh, the relentless sun and vast sands are not mere descriptions they are the silent witnesses to his inner turmoil on the other hand, end of the literary spectrum there is arundhati roy ye ek the idhar jampal heri uh, the god of small things the lush vibrant kerala backwaters are not just the setting they are a character usi ne kaha tha ye pura interplay chal raha hai character aur setting par woven into the fabric of the story the teeming humid landscape reflects the complex web of human relationships and secrets secrets that unravel in the narrative unravel yani reveal ho jati hai This interplay is not confined to the contemporary literature alone. In Shakespeare's timeless tragedy Macbeth, the eerie and contempt and foreboding setting of the Scottish moors casts a dark shadow over the character's actions. जहाँ पे वो moors की बात की moors का होता है ऐसे जैसे छोटी सी दूर एक टेकरिया पहाड़ी होती है उसे moors कहते हैं, ठीक है? तो वो जब जब वो इसमें दिखाई देती थी इस tragedy में so that means something wrong is going to happen so the moors shrouded in mist and mystery serve as ever present omen of an impending tragedy it was like an indication the setting so what is the term interplay refer to the context of the passage a lack of interaction lack to nahi hoga a complex relationship ye ho sakta hai an insignificant connection ye bhi nahi hoga na complete separation ye bhi nahi hoga otherwise interplay ka meaning kaise hoga here it is too so it was very easy to answer where you could have eliminated three coming to b as the answer in the realm of contemporary literature yahan se interplay ka meaning aa jayega which of the following words best describes the setting in the god of small place setting is lush and vibrant it was given here kerala backwaters lush vibrant main theme discussed in the passage it was about the interplay so characters in contemporary literature are not influenced by the settings no setting in literature is unimportant again no they can be as influential as characters in shaping the narrative possible yes and they have no role out to hame fir aise mein passage pe piche jaane ki bhi zarurat nahi hogi you could have saved on your time agar kisi ka miss hua i think so but you had time enough to do it carefully so these three have been eliminated very easily and see is your answer in a contemporary literature how is the relationship between character and setting described in the passage it is non existing characters and settings are entirely separate 
रिलेशनशिप कैसा था बात तो इंटरप्ले की हो रही थी ना तो एंटायरली एंटायरली सेपरेट कैसे हो सकता है तो दैट विल बी इलिमिनेटेड इट इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटरप्ले विद सेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंसेस द प्लॉट एंड कैरेक्टर डेवलपमेंट करेक्ट कैरेक्टर एंड सेटिंग्स आर इंटरचेंजेबल सेटिंग्स आर इनसिग्निफिकेंट आउट कॉम्प्लेक्स है Yeah, it becomes a character influencing the plot and character development. That means they have an effect. In the novel, the name Sheikh Bajampa Lahari. What does the barren desert landscape symbolize? Barren desert landscape. We'll go back to the passage if required when you were taking the test. As a karna tha, thriving community. If thriving hota hai, matlab prosperous kafi. So prosperity wali baat nahi thi. the protagonist sense of isolation and identity crisis it was understood from that line lush vibrant setting jampa lehri ki uh, usme thi nahi kerala backwaters ki baat thi and a happy carefree life will not be the answer yeah uh, lush vibrant to kerala backwaters anuditi roy ki book ka tha ye raha gogol not mere descriptions they are silent businesses to his inner turmoil why because of the identity crisis in a foreign land what role does the scottish moose play in shakespeare's macbeth hame pata hai macbeth word dhoond lo nahi yaad hai to go back to that paragraph and you'll see beautiful serene nahi tha no influence nahi influence to tha it is an ever present omen of impending tragedy yes and it is a place for the characters to relax matlab pahadi pe jaake aaram se baithenge so it was not a literary uh, literal thing it was a literary device in the tragedy to show that more here it is you can understand it from here it was a never present omen of the impending tragedy given in the last two lines now next passage and the last one so ab tak to humne ek bada easy easy se kiye hain the this one third one and the second one you could have got all 6 and 6 correct so 12 marks aaram se ho jate first jo justice wala tha usme se char sahi ho jate to you have like 12 and 4 16 and you have six questions here so out of this if you had done say four questions correct so at least you would get 20 correct answers so it was not a very difficult task agar hum fir overall count karenge to you could have got 19 or anything above 18 would be a good one let's see this everything she wanted was here at carignano in casoli here on the ridge of the mountain in this quiet house usse sab kuch mil gaya yahan par kahan ye chote se ghar mein carignano par it was the place and the time of life that she had wanted and prepared for all her life as she realized on the first day at carignano pehle din aage se aate se hi wo jo jagah thi theek hai usne dil chho liya kaise so this she realized on the first day now with a great cool flowering of relief flowering of relief hai na ekdam se shanti mili usse jab pehle din usne is ghar ko dekha and at last she had it usse kab se chahiye tha ye feel hai but then now she had it she wanted no one and nothing else whatever else came or happened here would be an unwelcome intrusion and distraction this she tried to convey to the plodding postman with a cold and piercing stare from the height of the ridge onto his honest bull back unfortunately he did not look up at her on the hill top but stared stolidly down at the dust piling onto his shoes iska matlab kya tha agar ye pura imagery dekhte hain visualize kar sakte hain to uska ghar wahan tha hill top pe aur usse wahan se postman ko dekha उसको आसपास का नजारा इतना लग, इतना अच्छा लगा था विच यू ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू एंड नाउ शी इज गेटिंग इट सो नाउ शी इज फील कंटेंट रिलीफ देयर राइट शी वुड नॉट वॉन्ट एनी बडी टू डिस्टर्ब दे वुड बी नो इंट्रोड्यूशन नो डिस्टर्बेंस एंड वेन शी इज ऑन दिट पोस्ट मैन प्लॉडिंग ऑन इज बुल देयर क्रॉसिंग इज वेर शी वॉज लाइक एंग्री उसे कोल्ड प्योर स्टेयर दिया पर हुआ क्या पोस्टमैन को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा क्योंकि उसने पोस्टमैन तो नीचे जमीन देख रहा था ऐसे ऊपर हिल टॉप पे उसे नहीं देख रहा था so that was it on to his honest bull back bull back unfortunately did not look up at her on the hill top but stayed stolidly down at the dust piling on to his shoes as he plodded on a bullock man an oafish ox ox she thought bitterly wese bhi man mein usko bol diya kuch 
she stepped backwards into the garden and the wind suddenly billowed up and threw the pine branches about as though to curtain her she was gray tall and thin and a silk sari made a sweeping shivering sound as she fancied she could merge with the pine trees and be mistaken for one thing to be a tree no more and no less was all she was prepared to undertake usi matlab she, uh, there was a tree and as she turned back wo pura describe kar rahe hain but then she wanted to be one with the tree matlab nature ke sath hi bilkul ghul mil jana aisa usne samjha what pleased and satisfied her so here at karignano was its barrenness this was the chief virtue of all the soli of course its darkness it had rocks it had pines it had light and air in every direction there was a sweeping view matlab dur dur tak uski nazar jati thi usse sweeping view karenge to the north of the mountains to the south of the plains occasionally an eagle swam through this clear unobstructed mass of light and air that was all and karikna no her home on the ridge had no more than that why should it kyu hona tha kuch aur the sun shone on its white walls its windows were open the ones facing north opened onto the blue waves of the himalayas flowing out and up to the line of ice and snow sketched upon the sky while those that faced south looked down the plunging cliff to the plain stretching out flat and sheer to the blurred horizon pure passage mein description hai itni baat samajh mein aayi hai ki ye uh, jo hai writer right this person wanted to be there in the place that she found herself in karignano kasoli and she was satisfied with her surrounding she did not want anybody else to disturb अगर वो आते तो उन्हें इंट्रूजन जैसा माना जाता ठीक है सो यस देर वर सम एप्रिकॉट ट्रीज क्लोज टू द हाउस देर वर क्लम्स ऑफ आयरस दैट एड फिनिश ब्लूमिंग देर वॉज द किचन विथ अ विंग ऑफ स्मोक लिफ्टिंग आउट ऑफ इस चिमनी एंड स्टैक ऑफ वुड आउटसाइड इट्स डॉ बट दीज वर इंसिडेंटल ऑलमोस्ट अनइम्पॉर्टेंट तो उसने पूरे पैसे में सिर्फ अपनी लिंक हर लिंक विद द नेचर that was what she has given in this part of the novel it is from fire on the mountain by anita desai you can see it the protagonist description of the nestling scream is shrill and maddening why have i highlighted this because when we read the passage we do not find these words there right and if you if you can see here it is written the source is with edits and divisions so possibly it is she has said something about the the nestling the screen the shrill ye unhone describe kiya hoga kahin kisi na kisi line mein but not here in the passage now at that particular time when you are uh, writing the test and if you think and you get hectic are ye to hai hi nahi hai hi nahi kya kare kya kare kya mark karu you should not have done this because you were told they'd be prepared for surprises ye jaise school mein aata hai out of course question hai to chilla dete wahan pe hum kuch nahi kar sakte to now the best use was what that understand the context of the passage and try marking it fir aage dekhenge clat consortium kya karte hain theek hai na to us time pe hame kya mark karna chahiye tha ye dono words nahi the but we knew that if this word is used shill and maddening that means she did not want any person to intrude ye hame samajh liya tha ki usko aaram se shanti chahiye thi uske ghar ke aas pass there in uh, kasoli korignano but then she did not want anybody else so wo postman jo bechara dekh bhi nahi raha tha use use bhi isne gusse se stare kiya tha that was there in the line right so from that context now let us see what we could have done in that part she perceives the sound to be out of tune yet soothing पर पॉजिटिव तो नहीं था क्योंकि ये स्क्रीन है श्रिल है मैडनिंग है तो ये पॉजिटिव वर्ड नहीं हो सकता शी कंसीडर्स द नेस्लिंग्स टू बी सिंबल्स ऑफ न्यू लाइफ एंड वाइटैलिटी शी फाइंड्स द नेस्लिंग्स टू बी विक्टेशियस एंड इरिटेटिंग यही हो सकता था क्योंकि ये ये भी पॉजिटिव ये पॉजिटिव ये पॉजिटिव केयर पॉजिटिव ये पॉजिटिव हटा कोई कोई सेंस नहीं है ये कोई लॉजिक सिर्फ जो मैंने लॉजिक अप्लाई किया वो यही था देर वर थ्री थिंग्स दैट वर पॉजिटिव one thing that was negative so that was the best thing we could have done right 
he did not want any extra, any distraction or intrusion that was the only thing which of the following statements are true about the protagonist's overall state of mind in karignano so she experienced a sense of constant restlessness and anguish she felt isolated and disconnected but isolated disconnected to nahi tha ye to surety hai theek hai from her environment no she was one she wanted to be one with the pine tree hame yaad hai wo to kahin bhi karenge hum two out kar denge this is out this is out this is out without wasting much time without reading without even uh, confusing yourself ki one mark kare hai one and two mark kare hai two and three mark kare hai kuch nahi karna tha टू हमें पता है वेरी श्योर आउट अगर वेरी श्योर था तो फिर गलत नहीं होना चाहिए था अब तुम टेस्ट के टाइम पे डोंट सिट एंड जस्टिफाई स्टेटमेंट थ्री ये कहां से आया कैसे आया क्यों आया नहीं हमें पता है कि ये वाला तो गलत है माफ कर दो बस यू हैव टू कम अप विद दैट स्मार्ट मार्किंग ऑफ दंसर ऑल्सो एंड यू रीड इट कंटेंट फुलफिल एट पीस you have confirmed your own answer now in the light of the above passage what role does nature play in the protagonist life at karignano what role does nature play it provides her with a source of creativity usne shuru ho ke pe usne nature ke sath paintings ki or she started something new creativity mein aise kuch maza nahi aaya tha she wanted to be one with the nature ye humne socha tha She was content, relief, ये आ सकता है क्योंकि पैसेज का मेन पॉइंट यही था कि वो ऐसी जगह पे पहुंची थी ऐसा घर था उसके सराउंडिंग ऐसे थे लैंडस्केप ऐसे था जहां पर उसे शांति मिली जो बरसों से उसे चाहिए थी बस इतना अगर अंडरस्टैंडिंग तुम्हारे दिमाग में होता तो यू कुड हैव डन दिस वेल एंड गुड यर इट कुड बी अंडरस्टूड टू बी वन विद्रीन ट्री एंड नो मोर नो लेस वॉज ऑल शी वॉज प्रिपेयर टू अंडरटेक What does the protagonist's preference for barrenness and starkness at Karignano suggest about her personality? She enjoys a bustling and vibrant. No, what did she need? Bustling, vibrant, no. Barren, alone, peace, on the four sides. This was. Values, simplicity, and minimalism in her surroundings. This was possible. Lush and colorful landscapes. No, because she needed barren. One side was barren, the other side was barren. plain stay she seeks constant stimulation and variety in her life to ye be wrong and we have this here but instead of coming to only one sentence that was the overall thought jo my bus aa jana chahiye tha to har question pe hame wapas jana nahi hoga to mark the right answer no what do you get to know about the protagonist state of mind from her reaction towards the postman now if you remember the postman did not see her also at the hill top he went on he was only seeing kitna kitni mitti lag gayi hai jooton par ye uska tha sochna she feels grateful for his presence no par usse to koi distraction nahi chahiye tha one point she dislikes any disturbance or interruption ye sahi hai in a solitude ye sahi ho sakta she feels suspicious and is interested in the lives of others but she is not interested and disinterest is generally unaffected by the presence but un disinterested ho sakta hai lekin unaffected nahi thi right so she was affected because she considered somebody else's presence as a disturbance as an intrusion and here we have the answer again the main point only What does the protagonist desire to be mistaken for a pine tree reveal about her mindset? She wanted to be one with the pine tree. What did it reveal? She desires to be appreciated and noticed by others in society. But वो तो अकेले थी. वो से पहाड़ों का और नदियों का she wanted that she loved that she was content there she was at peace there. So noticed out. She has a deep admiration for the beauty of the pine trees. ये हो सकता है. she feels a sense of superiority over other living beings but then she was not so and she yearns to be to be one with nature and escapes from her human identity ye ho sakta hai now the point is that she was admiring the beauty but she wanted to be one with that pine tree so we have d as an answer and here we have 
to be a tree no more and no less right so not a very difficult section you can say so anywhere about 20 would be a very excellent score ठीक है सो अगर क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग में तुम्हारे एक दो मार्क्स कम होते हैं यहाँ पे तुम्हारे कवर अप हो जाने चाहिए थे सो लेट्स सी हाउ यू हैव परफॉर्म एंड व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सो स्टे पॉजिटिव अबाउट योर रिजल्ट्स स्टे लॉजिकल इफ यू डू नॉट गेट एन आंसर इफ यू डू नॉट गेट दैट मनी मार्क्स एज यू वुड हैव एक्सपेक्टेड योर टू गेट राइट सो द रीजन आर देर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू की कहीं ना कहीं तुमने सोचने में या मार्क करने में गलती की होगी राइट right? so no problem that's not the end so stay logical and stay focused for your next test thank you and all the best